Last week I was working on a composition and while I was writing some notes, long notes, I was wondering how long can a tuba, the lowest instrument within the brass family, or a contrabassoon, the lowest instrument within the woodwinds family, play sustained notes? Because players from those instruments need to breathe. They use air to produce those notes. But what is possible? What is realistic? And to be honest, I didn't know exactly. So that started some sort of exploration on the internet in search of that answer to the question, what is realistic, what can be done and what can't be done. And in this video, I want to share with you the answers that I've found. If this is your first time visiting my channel, well, this channel is all about how to write music, orchestral music for film, TV and games, sound design and sound recording. And my goal is to help you write better music for media. So why is it important to know how long a tuba or a contrabassoon can play sustained notes when we are talking about orchestration? Well, it has everything to do with can I even pick that instrument for the part that I am writing at this moment or should I be looking for my safe haven, the double basses, which can do long notes the whole day without getting tired. They can play all sort of notes. So that makes the question relevant and the answer, answer to that very important. What is realistic? So let's listen first to the contrabassoon and the tuba. How do they sound like? Well, this is the contrabassoon in its lowest note that is possible to play. That's a really low note. And when we look at the frequency range, you can see that it is really low and massive. All right, when we look at the tuba, we play the lowest possible note on the tuba. Also an, an awesome sound. But how long can they play a sustained note? That is the question that we need to answer. After some intensive search, I stumbled upon the website from Andrew Ugill. And he is a professor of creative computing, but also a composer and a musicologist. And he examined how long can you play a sustained note on a tuba. And his conclusions are that the longest possible notes on a tuba for this for, for, for these notes the longest is the C3 which can be played when it's played pianissimo pianissimo which means soft is 31 seconds and you see when you are playing the the notes uh, at forte loud then the duration in seconds is very very small three, five and 10 seconds because you have to push in a lot of air in the instrument. But what about the long notes on a contrabassoon? And to be honest, I didn't find the answer to that question, but I did find two amazing videos about the contrabassoon. One is about the instrument. If you want to know more about the instrument of the contrabassoon, how it's made, what you can do with it, I can highly recommend you watching this video and I have put a link in the video description to this video. Uh, it's from the Philharmonia Orchestra from London, UK and one of their players tells about his instrument, the contrabassoon. But there's also a very, very funny video about the contrabassoon done by this person, Richard Bobo. And he has a lot of videos about this instrument, which he plays. And this one is really, really, really funny and awesome to watch because he shows us that he can play a 75 seconds long note on the contrabassoon and the most lowest possible note on this instrument. And he's doing that by using circular breathing, which is a, a tactic from breathing. So you can 
hold the, the, hold the notes much more longer than uh, when you just take one breath. Um, you definitely need to check out this video because it is really awesome to hear and to see how Richard is doing this. Last but not least, the answer, and this is beyond the tuba and the contrabassoon, but what is the record in the World Guinness Book of Records about the longest sustained note on a brass or woodwind instrument? Just to give you some idea what is what is possible when you when we're not talking about the tuba or the contrabassoon. And this person, Philip Palmer, managed it to get the longest sustained note on a wind and a brass instrument, and in this case a clarinet. And he performed that note one minute and thirty seconds and thirty-eight hundredths of seconds to be precise. And that's a quite amazing job that this person did. So he must have really, really, really big lungs. So I had much fun investigating and finding the answer to the question, what the longest sustained note on a tuba and a contrabassoon is. And in general, the longest sustained note on a woodwind or a brass instrument. And if you enjoyed this video too, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't done already, ding that bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you next week.